This is the last video in Chapter 3, people. Uh, this has to do with converting fractions to decimals and the order of operations with decimals. Yeah, let's do this. We're going to change fractions to decimals. Three-eighths. So the way you do this is if you... Let me just try to do something super fancy here real fast. Well, let's do this. If you look at... And let's undo that. Right here. A little graphical thing. Um, if I rotate this this way, so 3 eighths, think of the fraction falling over like this and then making a line just like that. You'll never forget the fraction falls over like this. When you do this, you have to divide it every time. So it's 8 into 3. Now I know this is sideways, but it's it falls over like this. And that one goes inside. One of the most often asked questions is, what number goes under the bracket? Put a decimal, add a couple zeros. The book will tell you where to round and stuff like that. Put that decimal straight up because there will be nothing over here. And just start dividing. Um, this is going to go into 33 times. 24, 7, and 5. And that, people love 3 eighths. It's point three seven five. Um, with no remainder. All right, so something like this with now a mixed number, four and two ninths. A couple ways to do this. I'm going to show you the popular way that uh, people like to do this. So you take the nine times four, 36, and add this and get 38 over nine. And then you just drop the fraction over like this and go nine into 38. Uh, put a couple zeros maybe. We'll see what happens. I always just put two, just for the heck of it. 9 into 38 goes four times. So that'd be 36. Bring this down, and that's going to go two times. 18. We'll subtract that, and we get another two. So what's going to happen here is this is going to start repeating. This will be another two. 18. You get a two. Bring another zero down. So we write this one as 4.2 with a bar over the two, because repeating decimal. When you divide like this, decimals either end like this. This is fancy word for this is called terminating. And this is, co of course, called repeating. Um, so there you go. Now I want to show you the one with order of operations. And hopefully this one doesn't blow your mind. There it is. To do this, you got to be super neat. Let's see if we can get through this. I like to have like, you can, I guess, physically draw a dotted line on your paper whatever but you want your steps over here to be super neat and all your work your slop work over here so let me show you what i mean by that you got to figure out what you do first and that is of course what's inside this parenthesis so i have to do 0 0.5 plus 1.5 and that's of course going to be 2.0 which we are going to call two so now i'm going to come back over here i'll keep all my steps in blue and there's a lot of rewriting like this it looks like we're doing rocket science but we're not two to the third the next thing we're going to do we're just chopping away at this is this exponent two to the third power is of course eight two times two times two so we're going to replace that with an eight 50 times eight all right now we back up for a minute and look at it we got division subtraction and multiplication this subtraction symbol is basically a separator between this problem and this problem. So you're going to start on the left and do it first. This is 12 divided by 0 0.03, like that. Of course, whatever comes first goes under the bracket. Now, this is one where that decimal was here. So you move this over two times. This goes over two times. So rewrite it. 3 into 1,200, and that is, of course, 400 times. So this is going to be... 400 minus 50 times 8. Now, let's go ahead and skip a step here and just slap this answer in here. What is 50 times 8? That's 400. So 400 minus 400 is a 0. There you go. Order of operations with decimals. We didn't have a lot of work over here on this problem. Um, sometimes this will fill up with stuff over here. So, uh, you know, keep your, keep your steps and your work separated and have a good one.